Okay, um, so we have our public hearing on the sewer rate adjustment. I'll go ahead and open up that public hearing. Does anyone have any comment from the public? Sure. So moved. Second. In favor? Okay. Someone took the gavel, but I don't use it anyway. So. Anyone here? Want to speak about the sewer rates? I will entertain a motion to close the public hearing. So, so, second. Second. All in favor? All right. Takes us down to new business, the Jake Brake Ordinance discussion. meeting um, anyone have thoughts comments objections I've heard from nobody else <clears throat> have you heard it from anyone else on the Jake break issue no just Akron was the only one that I talked to or got an ordinance from and I unless Andy Not all trucks use them. Are, are they slowing down? Who's, are they slowing down the north of them? Okay. You know, right, probably. Yeah. How many people are living there would affect the fact that people want to put apartments above the businesses on Main Street? That's pretty much, you know, who'd want to live there and listen to that. If I recall, the individual that brought it up was involved in a B and B or B and B type business. So it could so that's that. why was concerned. Absolutely. It was between 12. Right. And that could affect it. Do they use Jake Brates on 9th Street? Over there? I haven't heard it, but I mean the other side of town. They definitely do at um, coming into town on 14, they're at 14 and 25 by our lumber yard. It's I mean, if you're on the phone, if you're on the phone on the lumber at the lumber yard and they come in, even with you know everything shut up, it's loud enough to just have to stop and wait. But so you know the people live on the other side of 14 there at the lake. You know, you've heard them many times. Yeah, see that light there. So <coughs> bring it up at a later date. Yeah, I'd like to see something. That, right, I, from talking to some semi drivers from the area, a very informal question. For the most part, there shouldn't be a need for Jake Briggs. Yeah, you know, with the speeds going through town, I wouldn't no. think that'd be necessary. So, which probably, uh, yeah, since we don't have any hills either, that was the other comment that it should be a big deal to eliminate those. Would you have, a, you have enough information to write something up for us, Andy? Sure, sure. Any idea on penalties? Do you have any particular preferences? Do you want to just see it follow other, other traffic related penalties? And Escalate as, as, as those do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd probably do a similar to Akron. Yeah. If yeah. Akron has one, and just keep it consistent. The county would be good. It makes sense. Okay. I can, I can draft one of those for you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So we're down to ordinance and resolutions. Um, so the four ordinances we have, we actually did two readings last month 
and they're up for their third reading and vote. Um, <clears throat> any questions, comments? We'll start with 7 2023. Third reading, ordinance number 7 2023 by title only. So moved. Second. Second, all in favor? <coughs> ordinance number 7 2023. Regarding tapping fees. Any discussion? Adoption of Ordinance 7 2023. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor? Thank you. Okay. Ordinance number 8 2023 sewer rates. Obtain a motion for the third reading of Ordinance 8 2023. Ordinance number 8-2023, sewage rate ordinance. An ordinance amending ordinance number 2-2021, fixing the schedule of rates and charges to be collected by the city of Rochester, Indiana, from the owners of property served by the sewage works of said city and other matters connected therewith. Any questions or discussion? <coughs> Entertain a motion for the adoption of ordinance 8-2023. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Okay. okay. Ordinance 9 2023. Entertain a motion for the third and final reading of Ordinance 9 2023 by title. So do it. One second. Okay. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Ordinance number 9-2023, amendment to the City of Rochester Purchasing Policy and Ordinance 22-1998. Any questions or discussion regarding this ordinance? I will entertain a motion to the adoption of the Ordinance 9-2023. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Ordinance number 10-2023. Entertain a motion for the third and final reading of the ordinance 10-2023, title only. So moved. I'll second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? <clears throat> ordinance 10-2023. Amendment to the City of Rochester Administrative Capital Asset Policy, City Code 35.30, and Ordinance 17-2002. Are there any questions, discussions? Ordinance 10 touch 2023. All right, entertain a motion for the adoption of Ordinance 10 2023. So moved. And second. It's moved and seconded. All those in favor? Okay, on to resolution 9 2023. <laughs> Resolution 9-2023, budget transfers. Any questions, discussion on this resolution? Remind me, Shada, what this is. Uh, this is 
what this is is because of our budget when we have to modify our appropriation balances because we've overspent say repair and maintenance mm -hmm. in our budget and because there's four different budget classifications uh, I have the authority to move within the same budget classification so if it's personnel if it's repair and maintenance <coughs> capital but I have to have council approval in order to move between two different ones so we have a 41,000 series 42 43 and 44 so that's what these are is any of our accounts um, or appropriations that were negative because of um, so a lot of it's repair and maintenance you know those unknown costs so this is actually just moving within the same fund moving to bring those back up to the black is what this is Thanks. anyone else entertain a motion to adopt resolution 9-2023 Seconded. All those in favor? Thank you. All right, on to resolution 10 2023. Entertain a motion for the reading of board, uh, resolution 10 2023. Second. All right, you've been seconded. All those in favor? Resolution 10-2023, an ordinance approving the budget for the Municipal Water Works of the City of Rochester, Indiana for the year ending December 31st, 2024, and appropriating the several sums for the general funds of the Water Works to several uses and purposes as in the budget set forth. Any questions, discussion on this one? I didn't see any changes from our budget meeting, so just. Well, this is utilities, so. Yeah. Utilities don't come before the council, but we do uh, for transparency purposes. We ask the council to approve. The water board approves the water budget. Water works approves the wastewater. This is just an additional step uh, that we've always done. It's not required, but we've always done it for the council to approve their utility budgets. Keep the state board of accounts happy too. Uh, entertain a motion for the adoption of resolution 10-2023. Sure. Second. Yeah. <coughs> uh, Moving second, all those in favor? Uh, resolution 11-2023. Uh, entertain a motion for the reading of resolution 11-2023. So by tag one. Second. So moving second, all those in favor? Resolution 11 2023. A resolution approving the budget for the municipal sewage works of the city of Rochester, Indiana for the year ending December 31st, 2024. And appropriating the several sums for the general funds of the sewage works to several uses and purposes as in the budget set forth. Any questions or corrections or uh, discussion on here? And a motion to uh, Marty's made a motion to adopt resolution 11 2023. Yes. Moving second, all those in favor? All right. On department reports, Chief Butler. Uh, good evening. <clears throat> For the month of November, field fires, one in Rochester Township, vehicle fires, one in the city, one in Rochester Township, one in Liberty Township. Auto fire alarms, one in the city, one in Rochester Township. Accidents, two in the city, two in Rochester Township, three in Richland Township. Medical assist, 16 in the city, 16 in Rochester Township, one in Newcastle Township, two in Richland Township. Gas leaks, three in the city, CO checks, one in the city, one in Rochester Township. Service calls, two in the city, one in Rochester Township. One of those was putting up the Christmas lights. Canceled calls are Two in the city, three in Rochester Township, one in Liberty Township. That should total 62 calls, and we conducted one night of training. Pending your questions, that concludes my report. Any questions for Chief? Thanks, Chief. Chief Shots. Uh, for the month of November, you've got my stats, 431 calls for service, uh, 12 lockouts, 94 warnings, and the crimes that people are lodged for. Other than that, uh, Jonathan Easter, who is our newest <coughs> hire, 
uh, we finally got approval from Public Safety Medical that he passed everything. Um, we have to send all the paperwork into PERF, and it'll be 30 days before it can actually get started. I need to take him over to Fort Wayne today to get uniforms and equipment order. So we'll have that when he does, when he is able to start. And then the two vehicles that we purchased in 2023, I just picked those up from cops the other day from being outfitted. Uh, and then I dropped them off at, at Chad Lewis's to get decals. So they'll be on the road next week. And that's all I have unless you have any questions. Questions? So your, your purchase of your own? Yeah. Has that been is that done? And no, I haven't ordered it yet now. Yeah, I mean, we're still. But there's quite a bit discussing. of training with that then too. What's that? There's quite a bit of training to There will be. Um, we'll have to, depending on the size, we'll have to register with the FAA. We'll have to get the, the officer certified and a, a drone pilot's license. Because you have to go to middle school. <laughs> I was going to say grade school. Yeah. 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 Um, it's going to be pretty embarrassing if, if our officers fail their pilot's license. <laughs> but yeah, there's going to be some training. I've still got to do some some digging into that to see if it's online or in, in person class and get all the requirements for that. Are you going to use that for traffic enforcement? Or? No, no, it'll be uh, search and rescue type things. Um, if we have people run from the scene, from a vehicle, if we have a lost child or, or elderly person, um, also utilize in different scenarios in town with different types of situations. Mm -hmm. It'll benefit and, and make it safer for our officers to do their jobs. It'll be the best solution after fire. Yeah. Find those missing cats and trees. It's got thermal work. <laughs> I'll, I'm sure I'll get some donut comment later. So. <laughs> <laughs> just a dozen on your desk. <laughs> Man, try to be nice. Ouch. Thanks, brother. Thank you, Chief. <laughs> Questions? Thank you, Chief. Like any other department has here. Ruth, do you have any area plan? No. Still no meeting. Okay. So, Michael, do you have an update for us on Petco? Uh, I'm just going to do it from here. Uh, I'll start with the housing study. Um, we're at the process now. It's through this whole game of uh, we're looking for developers to come in and for actual sites that we could start developing looking at uh, it's all tentative we'll just pick sites nothing uh, is concrete at that point and um, I have two developers who are on the uh, list who are interested in, in the county right now immediately we're pulling in other ones um, and then I have <coughs> another developer who is interested in coming in and looking at two buildings downtown to refurbish. Uh, Putz is not involved in that. By the way, I'm just going to go ahead and get that out of the way. Um, so they'll be coming in after the new year and we'll be turning buildings. We're setting those meetings up right now. Um, we'll go to Ready. Ready 2 is getting more and more complicated every day, but we are at a point where um, we have come down to the final 21 projects and um, Fulton County has two. One's the industrial park and the other is a child care slash learning center study program out at um, the high school. Yes. And um, I have a lot of confidence that we're going to get both of them. Uh, on January the 11th, we have um, state coming in. They will, there will be an all day tour through all six counties looking at the very different uh, projects. We're on the list and um, we'll be, they wanna physically see what these, where they are, what they're about. Jana uh, Vance and I are gonna be working since Jana's got the uh, Learning Center Child Care program should be working with me on uh, explaining to the state what these are 
Um, we have asked for $9 million for uh, the industrial park, and um, that translates to uh, four and a half million dollars from the county, uh, or as a match, I should say, which means two and a quarter million from the city and the county, both. Uh, don't panic, it's, we're still out there looking uh, for it. Um, it's just so that you understand where the money, that, what money we're talking about at this point. Um, Jano, there will be no request from the city or anything. She's got it all figured out from the school city, and uh, she's actually got matches and everything. She's the only program out of the 21 that exists right now that actually could go today if they if they do this thing. So I mean, she did her homework very well, and bless her for that. Um, then. The last thing will be, uh, we've changed, we've had uh, new officers. Um, Jason Group will be the new president. Andrew Horseman for RAMC is the vice president. We're retaining um, Michelle Million as our treasurer. And that's it for the moment. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Yes, Park board, Bob, you anything for us? No, I, I just want to share a comment that Todd just made. We think that's a great name for a treasurer. We think. <laughs> you, could, you probably couldn't. I'll make sure that that gets passed back. <laughs> uh, park board met uh, December 11th, and they. Uh, Talk about the golf course. They're still wrestling with trying to figure out a uh, plan of attack on the vinyl windows at the uh, those little windows at the pro shop. There on the barn, uh, the golf courses also made their chemical purchases for 2024 because they felt pricing was favorable. Still working and doing some sprinkler work. Uh, they're looking into some maintenance things on the cart paths, of course, on the, on the blacktop areas. Dwayne uh, Border for Parks requested that they'll probably start getting information for another mower in their normal cycle. The pool has also purchased chemicals for next year because uh, they thought pricing wise and timely it made sense to do that. And that's pretty much what they discussed. Oh, there was also a, sorry, uh, there's a, a group that's working on from the Leadership Academy with the Park Board to try to uh, discuss and investigate what they can do to try to improve the beach area there at uh, Manitou. Any questions? Thank you. Marty, you got Rochester BZA Council on Aging? <coughs> Council on Aging did not meet in December and uh, BZA meets a week from tomorrow, so okay. Todd, do you have anything on solid waste and animal adoption? Those groups do not meet in December. <clears throat> Brian, tree board EMS? I would die to attend the tree board meeting and no EMS meeting. John, waterboard? Waterboard is very short. Uh, uh, everything was approved when they were there. They got the Apache Drive. Uh, water is main is on and should be running right now as we speak. The mixers and the uh, water towers are completed and hooked up, running, and everything should be fine there. <clears throat> the cost of service today to be completed by the Baker Tilly for the City of Rochester Water Department. Marvin made it a motion to approve and uh, everything is operating normally at the plant. You can ask for anything better than that. Thank you. Any questions? Any anything legal? I do not have anything. Any ADA concerns? I have no ADA concerns. Before we adjourn, I just wanted to take this time. This is 
shot his last council meeting with us, and I just wanted to thank her for her 12 years of service. And I think you've done a fine job. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you all for your service as well. It's been a pleasure serving with all of you. Some of you more longer than others, but it has been an absolute pleasure. It's we'll awesome. miss you. Best of luck in your future endeavors, and also Todd's last meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I can say it also has been a joy serving with all of you. I feel like we've been able to make a small difference, if not larger than that. I appreciate all of you. Thank you. All right, on that note, I'm going to a motion to adjourn. So moved. <laughs> 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 this won't take long.